All right, then. Welcome to Thursday. I hope you're having a great day. Come on in. Spend a little time in my little world with me for a moment or two. I was just thinking about some songs, and one popped into my head, and I looked up the lyrics to it for a moment. It was Whitney Houston singing it. When she sang Higher Love, listen to these words. Things look so bad everywhere in this world. What is fair? We walk the line and try to see, falling behind in what could be. Oh, bring me a higher love. I think she, or the song, identifies the frustration a lot of us feel. Took me back to a story long ago, and I've shared it several times in speaking engagements, right here, articles and bulletins and so forth. But it was um, long ago, high school days. I had a friend who was our pole vaulter on our track team. One of my best friends growing up. Loved the guy. But he came to a point, he was having a hard time getting over the bar. And we were at practice one day and he got up to a certain point. I don't remember exactly where it was, but he just kept trying, kept trying, trying. Couldn't get over the bar. Finally, he went to the coach and he said, I just can't get over the bar. I knocked it down again and again and again. And the coach came over and he said, okay, let me watch. And my friend got his pole, took his run, planted the pole, launched into the air, got partway over and knocked the bar down. The coach kind of looked at him a moment. And said one of the two things that I remember that coach saying that was really worthwhile. Kind of sad, wasn't it? Anyway, one was, pass him going uphill. What is gained with great effort will not be lost with ease. The other was, okay, I'll tell you what you do to my friend. Raise the bar another notch. My friend said, but I can't make it over this one. He said, just try it. Raise the bar another notch. So the bar was raised another notch. My friend went back, got in place, as he always did, did his pre-run stretches, ready to go, took off down the short track, planted his pole, launched into the air, and cleared the bar with a few inches to spare. I don't know whether there was any great wisdom in what was said. I think all the coach was trying to do is just say, aim a little higher. Aim a little higher. And isn't that what we need to do? Aim a little higher. Give me the higher, the higher love. We sing at church sometimes, higher ground. And pressing on the upward way. We need to search for the higher ground. I think that's good advice. If you want to go biblically, there are a couple of things that come to mind. In the 12th chapter of the book of uh, Hebrews, the writer there simply says, we're surrounded by a great company of witnesses, so let us lay aside every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us and run with endurance or perseverance the race that is set before us. In other words, put aside the things that hold you back and give it everything you've got. And sometimes that's a challenge to do. Sometimes we think we've been giving it at our, our all. My friend thought he was giving it everything he could to get over that bar. And then he was able to clear an even higher level. In Matthew 19, there was a young man that came to Jesus with a question. Jesus responded with some looks at the law. What? Do this, do that. He said, oh, I've done all those things. I've kept the law. You know, he's a good young man. And then Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, or one of the gospel writers says, one thing you lack. There's something you still could do, he said. The young man wasn't ready to do that, wasn't ready to jump into what Jesus had to say, go sell, give to the poor, come follow me. But he said, there's still something lacking there. You really want the higher level? You really want to get to that place? You really want to grow to that? Then we've got to put in what it takes. Lay aside every weight and sin. Put aside the things that would hold you back, hinder you. And then raise your aim just a little bit higher. Shoot a little bit higher, and you just might get it. I was out in New Mexico years ago. 
my grand my grandfather my uncle had me out with him and we were running around and he wanted me to uh, see some things and we, we had his gun with him and there were some varmints that were causing some problems. He said, here, lean against the back of the pickup and shoot him. I tried a few times, kept hitting the dirt down too low. He said, buddy, I said, I think I've got it right on him. He said, you're just shooting too low. Sometimes that's exactly the way it is. We just aim a little bit low. So my friends, at the advice of the coach, at the words of the writer of Hebrews, and listening to Jesus, let's raise the bar just a little bit higher. Let's seek <laughs> with Whitney Houston that higher love. That would be a good thing on this Thursday. I'm glad you were with me. We'll look forward to more in the days to come. Be with you later.